All right, and so we want to get right into today's topic. Today's topic is bear one another's burdens. Bear one another's burdens. Galatians chapter 2 verse 6 says this, Bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. So now what does it mean to bear one another's burdens? It means a very simple thing. If your brother's going through a hard time, be there for them. Be there for them. Help carry the weight. You know, nothing more encouraging than somebody just believing in you. They can be going through a really rough time. And if somebody comes next to you and just says, I'm here with you. I'm in this with you. Let me help you just emotionally encourage you. Be there as an emotional support. I want to tell you that God honors that. God actually says, when you bear one another's burdens, you fulfill the law of Christ. You fulfill the law of Christ. It means Christ's heart is for this. God's heart is that we are there for one another. That we carry one another. We lift each other up. That we support each other. We complement each other. We are there in this thing together. Biggest statement I can give you. We are in this together. You are not alone. You are not a lone island. You are not a lone ranger. You know, sometimes young people want to just do things on their own and prove something. God's plan is, is that we're in this together. We carry the load. We carry the burden. We support one another. We are there to be a blessing. And so God is expecting every one of us to carry each other's burdens. If somebody is hurting, we need to be there for one another to help, support, and encourage in everything that we do in Jesus' name. And so I want to say this today. Saints, let us help one another. And if you have not been doing that, we need to repent of that. How many of us want to do what God wants? How many of us want God to say, well done, good and faithful servant? Particularly in fulfilling the law of Christ. In other words, these are the instructions Jesus Christ has given. All right? These are His conditions. And He's asking us, He is asking us to flow together, to carry one another, and to be there for one another. And so I'm trusting you saints, that we are going to be obedient to God's Word, and that we are going to have a mindset, we are in this together in Jesus' name. Amen. I do not for one second think that I'm in this thing alone. I do not for one second think that an individual can fulfill anything. But when the body of Christ comes together, it starts escalating. It starts growing. There is unity. There is a flow. There is an anointing. And there is power that's released. So, on the night that Jesus was betrayed, He took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take it in remembrance of me. He took the cup and he said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical, emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection and provision. And so this morning, I want to bless each and every one. And say, saints, let's stand together. Let's carry this together in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Lord, I ask you please to forgive us of any wrongdoing. Any wrong thought, any wrong action, any wrong motive, any wrong intention. God, I ask you please to forgive us and to wash us white as snow. And Lord, I pray right now that we will never, ever be the same. And Lord, I thank you that you are going to do something amazing in our lives. And as the body of Christ, we're going to be there for one another. And Lord, I ask you right now, to forgive us where we've been selfish or too busy to assist. And Lord, I pray that as we take of the elements that we will catch Jesus' heart. And Lord, that we will truly understand that we are expected to carry one another's burdens. To be there for one another. To be there for each other. 
and to get us to where you have for us. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. <clears throat> Lord, we come before you this morning. We thank you, Lord, that you love us and that you care for us. And Lord, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, we speak over our physical bodies. And I command every single symptom to leave our body in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you that you are moving by your Spirit. And Lord, I pray right now that you're going to do something supernatural in our bodies. By your stripes we were healed. And Lord, I thank you that we command, command healing, blessing, and anointing to flow in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, folks, it's spring. All right. I want to tell you, I was thinking about what do I do to celebrate spring? How do I do it? Now, one of the big things about spring is, is that it's uh, a sowing time. All right. It's where we sow, where we give. All right. It's, it's you go plant seeds. So I'm going, well, what can I do? Well, I want to tell you right now, I decided that we're going to start with these mini marshmallows. All right. I believe in big marshmallows. I've had these big prime marshmallows, but I've got my mini ones here. By the way, I was really grateful that none of the dogs came in. I had them on the side here. They would have been gone. So I want to say it is spring. I want you to get this analogy. All right. We sow little, we reap big. Okay. And so I want you to know that I'm starting out with my little marshmallows. And I can tell you by Christmas, I'm going to have my big marshmallows. All right. So I want to tell you that go and celebrate the change of season. Celebrate the new season for us. And remember this. When we go out, we are going to just enjoy the Lord today. Do something nice. All right. And one of the things that we always did at school growing up was we always used to have a tea for all of the elderly folk. All right. They'd always come and have a tea and celebrate spring day. Do something nice. All right, when I was, uh, somebody said put a flower in my marshmallow. All right, when I was in Pretoria still, the big thing was on the 1st of, of September was the day we started to swim. All right, so everybody got into the pool and it was a big thing. Okay, but you can't do that on the coast. It is still very, very cold in this water. Okay, but I want to say this. Today is a day to celebrate. Today is the day of the Lord, new season. And we are trusting God for new birthings, new vision, new growth, new things happening in your lives in Jesus' name. Amen. So we celebrate the change of season. Amen and amen. All right, we're going to pray. I want to remind you that it's Thursday and tonight we've got our, our topics being taught at 7 o'clock. So we for the fellowship groups, facilitators, remember up at 7 uh, we are busy with the uh, with the Zoom session for your training. Amen. All right, so let's get right into praying. Lord, we come before you today. Father, we thank you for your word. Lord, I thank you right now that we can pray for every single business. Lord, every single family. Lord, and we pray for our nation. But God, today I want to pray for our leaders. God, I pray for our leaders. I pray for a new dawning in our leaders. Lord, I pray for a new day in our leadership, in our nation. Father, I pray that their hearts will be changed. And Lord, you said that as we pray for the leaders, you will intervene on our behalf. God, whatever needs to happen, I pray right now for godly wisdom. Lord, I pray that today is the day of a new beginning for the leadership of our nation. And Lord, no matter what level, I thank you, God, that you are working. We lift them up before you. We pray for them. We pray, God, you're going to bless them. You're going to minister to them. And you're going to give them the wisdom that is needed in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for the anointing of God that flows. The power of God that's going to come. Lord, I pray right now that you are going to do something supernatural in and through every single believer in Jesus' name. Lord, that not only are we going to stand strong and we're going to understand the voice of the Lord, but God, I pray that we are going to carry the authority and apply your word wherever we go. I thank you for every sector of the economy, that it is blessed, prosperous, in Jesus' name. And Lord, that we will see the blessing of God be maintained 
in everywhere we go and everything that we do in Jesus name. Lord, we release the power of God, the blessing of the Lord, and that as believers, we bring the light into every single part of darkness. And Lord, that we will be an example. We will carry the power, release the word, and see change in Jesus' name. Father, right now, I pray for every school child. Lord, I release a blessing over the youth. And Lord, I pray your blessing upon them. Lord, that you will stir them ignite them and get them going in Jesus name Lord that they will never be the same again Lord we pray and move in our young people in Jesus name and Lord right now thank you for a supernatural move of your spirit and everybody said amen and amen all right folks I want you please to remember that tomorrow I am in Nelspreet if you are in Nelspreet or Kamati Put, please join us we're busy with impartation and activation. Let's get your gifting going so that wherever you are located in South Africa, you carry the power of the anointing to shift the atmosphere. And so we are going to help you get there. Remember that tomorrow night we're continuing with our, our fight for a nation. And we are fighting for our nation. We are in this together. We are joining it. And we are going to see God come through. Because we are applying the biblical principles in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Amen. All right. So let's get to our declaration. Remember this. Every single statement must be a statement of faith. You must release it in faith. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, Recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, go out with might, go out with valor, and go and do what God has called you to do in Jesus' mighty name.